Well, first of all, I am already in Atlanta, in Georgia, where that runoff is going to uh, be taking uh, place. And uh, what is at stake uh, might not seem uh, that big of a deal, because, of course, uh, the Democrats are already assured uh, to have control of the Senate, uh, because even if they lose this seat, it will be a 50-50 Senate like it is right now, meaning the vice president will have the tie-breaking vote. Uh, but this one little seat could make life much, much easier for the Democrats if if uh, they uh, can win it. It will make a difference in committees in uh, the Senate uh, because right now in a 50-50 Senate, all, all of this goes through negotiations between the Democrats and the Republicans. While the Democrats have control, they still have to negotiate with the Republicans as to how they uh, settle those committees. And uh, they have the same number of senators on those committees. With a 51-49 Senate, that will no longer be the case. The Democrats will have extra uh, seats on those committees. And that means that things will just uh, move through committees and onto the Senate floor a little bit uh, easier. And the other thing that's important Important for the Democrats uh, if they manage to win 51-49 is that uh, it will give them a little bit of a breathing room not to depend on the votes of some very moderate uh, Democrat. I'm thinking, of course, of Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin, who has used his power as that 50th vote to uh, try to negotiate some more moderate legislation. And if they have 51 uh, votes, uh, then uh, the Democrats will be able uh, to spare one vote. And that is why the Democrats are so focused on winning the seat, even if they have control of the Senate already.